What's up guys, it's me Ahanaf and welcome back to the channel. So this is the part 2 of my Discord.py rewrite series and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you guys how events in Discord.py work. So basically events are a piece of code that are run whenever the bot detects that some activity or some specific activity has happened. Okay. Uh, for example, whenever the bot gets ready, the on ready event gets triggered. So at that time, the code that is assigned for that specific event is run. For example, in the last Discord.py tutorial, excuse me for that. So in the last Discord.py tutorial, uh, we have written the on ready function. So this function uh, is basically, uh, it will be triggered. And this function, the code inside this function will be run whenever the bot gets ready after collecting information from Discord, whenever it's in a ready state. Okay, so event handlers, this is an event handler for the on ready function. And event handlers are uh, their functions and their names have to be specific. And you can find the names of the functions in the documentation. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. So this is the on ready uh, event handler and instead of function we're going to be calling them event handler since they're basically handling events for the bot and this one occurs whenever the bot gets ready there are also a lot of different types of events like whenever somebody joins your server whenever somebody sends a message or whenever somebody does what whenever somebody uh leaves your server whenever somebody updates a role whenever somebody changes anything like etc etc there's a lot of events there are tons of events for discord.py so in this video i'm going to be doing two of the events and those two events are basically going to be the on message event so whenever somebody sends a message oh sorry for the background noise uh a phone is ringing or whatever so whenever somebody sends a message or let's say whenever somebody, you know, joins your server, leaves your server, whatever. So we're going to be doing two events. And let's get started by writing those events. So at first we're going to be typing add rate bot or client. So at the bot dot event, if you're naming this variable client, then you're going to have to name this and this client. Okay, but I'm going to be naming it bot. So add with bot dot event async def and this is going to be the on message. Now the on message function, this function takes the message argument and like it's also written in the documentation. So like everything out of the Discord dot library is in the documentation. Some people don't know how to read docs, but it's really easy. Uh, they give you some examples and then they uh, give you a definition of the all the classes and objects etc so the on message function will take a message argument and make sure the name is specific because discord.py needs your function name to be specific when you're working with events in case of functions or commands you can just name it whatever you want so the on message function of uh, the on message event handler and now let's for now let's print something whenever somebody prints a message I want to type the name, uh, print out the name of who sent the message. So we're going to be making an F string. And in here, I'm going to be writing the name of the per person. So has sent a message. And inside here, we are going to be typing the message dot author. So the message object has an attribute author, which is basically a user object. Is it a user object or member object? I knew you guys can check it out in the documentation. But the user object and member objects are basically the same. Instead, the member object has some server information about what permissions uh, they have in the server and etc. Uh, now let's try to pre uh, use this and let me just type python bot.py and I forgot the prefix. What was the prefix? Oh, okay. It's ready. Let me add it to a server and bot test zone. 
And then I forgot to add the bot before, so I'm adding it. And don't worry about these tabs, I was just playing some Roblox. Nothing else. Okay. I'm really bad at capture. Wow. Capture is so weird. Okay, so I got the bot. Let's give it some perms. Let's give it owner perms. How about that? So let's type something test message. And see, it has printed out that my username has sent a message. So this is the property of the message.auto object and Every time you send a mes send a message, it's going to be printing that out. Okay, guys. So for some reason, I had to record this again uh, because OBS was lag. The recording was lagging a lot uh, when I was trying to edit it using Premiere. The recording was really laggy, and I had to record this again. So let's continue. So now we're going to be uh, working on the on member join event so this event will be triggered whenever somebody joins your server either they join from an invite link or whatever so we have to do add the bot dot add bot dot event async def on member join now this function takes a member argument now the member argument is same as the message dot author argument uh, message dot author object so the member object has the same properties the message dot author object has so since message dot author gives you a member object so basically they have the same so if you do message dot author dot name so in the same way you can do member dot name like it's easy so now we're going to be printing out f string so member has joined the server how about that so Let's run the bot again. Let me kick the bot. Oh, I, I'm chatting with my friend over here. He had some problem with the bot, so I'm gonna blur that out since I don't wanna reveal any of my messages. And let me invite my bot. So this was my bot. And let me invite my YouTube stream bot to the server. And I'm giving it admin perms since why not? It's my bot. It it isn't going to doing any it's not going to do anything harmful, so wow I hate captures. I hate captures. So a bus. Another bus. Now let's verify it. So it joined the server. Okay, it's here. And it says YouTube stream bot has joined the server. So this is how the on member join event will work. Now let's do the last event, which is going to be the on member remove. It's not on member leave, it's on member remove. So this event will be triggered whenever uh, a member leaves your server in any in any way, like they leave their ser they leave the server by themselves, like clicking on the leave server button, or they get kicked or banned etc like if in any way they leave the server this event will be triggered so add bot dot event now do async uh, death on member remove this will also take the member object now let's print f string sorry I'm going a bit fast because these two are basically the same except the function name both of them take the member object so let's say member has left the server Oh. Okay, so let's run the bot again. And let's kick the YouTube stream bot and see if it works. Okay, so the bot's ready. Now let's kick it. Now let's see. YouTube stream bot has left the server. So this is how events work. There are tons of events available. Just go and check out the documentation. Also, I'm going to be leaving the link to the documentation in the description below so you guys can check it out. So, I hope you guys understood what I have explained. And if you did, be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be seeing you guys next time. So, peace out.